The International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers is a labor union that represents nearly 750,000 workers and retirees in the electrical industry in the United States, Canada, Panama, Guam, and several Caribbean island nations, particularly electricians, or inside wiremen, in the construction industry and linemen and other employees of public utilities. The union also represents some workers in the computer, telecommunications, broadcasting, and other fields related to electrical work. Topic overview It was founded in 1891, two years before George Westinghouse won the Electric Current Wars by lighting up the Chicago World's Fair with AC current, and before homes and businesses in the United States began receiving electricity. It is an international organization, based on the principle of collective bargaining. Its international president is Lonnie R. Stevenson, and is affiliated with the AFL-CIO. The beginnings of the IBEW were in the Electrical Wiremen and Linemen's Union No. 5221, founded in St. Louis, Missouri in 1890. By 1891, after sufficient interest was shown in a national union, a convention was held on November 21, 1891 in St. Louis. At the convention, the IBEW, then known as the National Brotherhood of Electrical Workers was officially formed. The American Federation of Labor gave the NBEW a charter as an AFL affiliate on December 7, 1891. The union's official journal, The Electrical Worker, was first published on January 15, 1893, and has been published ever since. At the 1899 convention in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the union's name was officially changed to the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. The union went through lean times in its early years, then struggled through six years of schism during the 1910s, when two rival groups each claimed to be the duly elected leaders of the union. In 1919, as many employers were trying to drive unions out of the workplace through a national open shop campaign, the union agreed to form the Council on Industrial Relations, a bipartite body made up of equal numbers of management and union representatives with the power to resolve any collective bargaining disputes. That body still functions today, and has largely resolved strikes in the IBEW's jurisdiction in the construction industry. In September 1941, the National Apprenticeship Standards for the Electrical Construction Industry, a joint effort among the IBEW, the National Electrical Contractors Association, and the Federal Committee on Apprenticeship, were established. The IBEW added additional training programs and courses as needed to keep up with new technologies, including an industrial electronics course in 1959 and an industrial nuclear power course in 1966. Today, the IBEW conducts apprenticeship programs for electricians, linemen, and VDV voice, data, and video installers who install low-voltage wiring such as computer networks, in conjunction with the National Electrical Contractors Association, under the auspices of the National Joint Apprenticeship and Training Committee NJATC, which allows apprentices to earn while you learn. In Canadian jurisdictions, the IBEW does not deliver apprenticeship training, but does conduct supplemental training for government trained apprentices and journeypersons, often at little or no cost to its members. The IBEW Local 353 Toronto requires all apprentices to be registered with the JAC Joint Apprenticeship Council for a number of safety courses, pre-apprenticeship training, pre-trade school courses, supplementary training, and pre-exam courses. The IBEW's membership peaked in 1972 at approximately 1 million members. The membership numbers were in a slow decline throughout the rest of the 1970s and the 1980s, but have since stabilized. One major loss of membership for the IBEW came about because of the court-ordered breakup at the end of 1982 of AT&T, where the IBEW was heavily organized among both telephone workers and in AT&T's manufacturing facilities. Membership as of 2013 stands at about 750,000, according to their official website. List of international presidents Henry Miller 1891 
Quarren Jansen (1893–1894), H. W. Sherman (1894–1897), J. H. Maloney (1897–1899), Thomas Wheeler (1899–1901), W. A. Jackson (1901–1903). Frank Joseph McNulty (1903–1919), first full-time paid president of the union, elected at Salt Lake City Conference in 1903, retired at New Orleans Conference in 1919. James Patrick Noonan, acting president (1917, president 1919–1929), died in office. Henry H. Broach (1929–1933). Daniel Dan W Tracy 1933 to 1940 Edward J Brown 1940 to 1947 Daniel Dan W Tracy 1947 to 1954 J Scott Milne 1954 1955 Gordon M Freeman 1955 to 1968 Charles H. Pillard, 1968 to 1986. John Joseph, Jack Barry, 1986 to 2001. Edwin D. Ed Hill, 2001 to 2015. Lonnie R. Stevenson, 2015 present. Equals equals list of IBEW conventions. <laughs>